What's up guys, how you doing? I'm just at my retreat home in Poland and uh, finally the blue skies came out and it's such a beautiful, beautiful day. But I've just uh, finished our amazing training on how to boost your confidence in communication. And it's not, I guess it's not a coincidence that I had to live life the way that I had to live it for many, many years, living in so much fear, low self-esteem, low self-confidence, I didn't believe in myself, I didn't love myself, but I also lacked the communication skill set, which I do have now, because I overcame the fear of public speaking. And so if you're someone who is a coach, an entrepreneur, you want to become a better communicator, you want to be more emotionally intelligent, this is where everything changes, because this block is something that I didn't know was actually blocking me from making more money, becoming more successful, feeling better about myself, and also just not being afraid to be myself. So this training that you're going to watch is going to absolutely change your life, but it's also going to take you down the road. And I'm giving you basically the exact steps of how I became such an extraordinary communicator, motivational speaker, life coach, and host of the Luke Mind Power podcast. I've done events all around the world, and I can't wait to share these secrets with you so that you can step into your greatness so that you can become a better communicator, which I have no doubt you will. And then at the end, there's a little gift that I've got for you. So enjoy this training, take action, take notes, because I'm sharing with you the exact blueprint, the exact steps of how I present, how I engage with an audience and so much more. I'll see you soon. Enjoy. Um, so before we get started, I would like to ask you a question. The question is on a scale of one to 10, where would you rate your confidence in communication, in speaking, in expressing yourself. Maybe it's in a social setting, in a small setting, maybe it's in front of people. On a scale of one to 10, 10 is very high. I feel amazing. I've got so much confidence. I love speaking in front of people. And one is, uh, got work to do, got heaps of work to do. Let us know in the chat. All righty. So let's have a look. We got lots of, no, lots of numbers. Cindy says nine, Samantha two, Randy one, uh, four, seven, eight, five, five, six. Cassie says nine, Krista says eight. Good to see you, Krista. Hope you're doing great. Keep going. Nanette says eight, eight. Agnieszka says four, eight. Damn, we got a lot of nines and eights here. This is great. Six, seven, three. Um, it doesn't matter where you are. Doesn't matter where you are, guys. Because everyone's different. Some people I, I know as well, some people just naturally have it. You know, some people just naturally have that vibe and that ability to do it. And uh, this is why I do what I do, because this is something I had to overcome. So just in the chat, how many of you would, Samantha says five, <laughs> how many of you guys would actually like to be better communicators how many of you guys would like to actually improve your communication skill set? How many of you guys actually want to feel really powerful, really confident in expressing yourself and actually being able to share your story with confidence and poise and, and, and cadence and power and authority? Let us know in the chat how many of you guys actually want that want to have that ability to stand in front of people or be an amazing speaker. Alice says, oh, I'm working on it. And Emily says, yes, 100%. Rhonda says, me. It always can be better. Of course, that's right. I think we can always get better and better and better. That's right. Yes, I do. I do. I do. I do. Okay. Cool. Yes, improve. Authority. That's right. Yes, please. Alina's putting a hand up. Alina's putting a hand up. Just a comfortable speaker, 100%. Okay. I always want to grow. Definitely need help. Okay, cool. Fantastic. Well, you're in the right place. If there's anything that you want to do, you want to learn from someone who has what you want, just like I learned from Lisa Nichols back in 2019, I went to one of her conferences and she showed me an example of one of her clients or students that, that she trained. And when I saw her students stand up on stage and speak, and she said, I did Lisa Nichols Speakers Mastermind Program. That was immediately for me. Uh, straight away, I saw that and I was just like, wow. And I was like, okay, 
I want that. I want to be able to do that. I was sitting in the audience and uh, I just waited. And she said, everybody who's interested, come to the back. And I went to the back and I signed up to her program. And so it was the investment that I made in myself that helped me to get here. So let's get started, guys. As I mentioned to you, I have a special gift for you at the end of this training. So stick around because you don't want to miss out on this. Okay. All righty. So I've had to do a lot of work. Hey, I reflect on this and I'm just like, damn, you know, it, it really is a journey and you really have to be dedicated and you have to want it. But at the same time, as I was mentioning on my podcast, guys, when you're doing something that you enjoy, it's not hard. You actually enjoy it. When you're enjoying it, it's not a dreading thing where you have to wake up and go, oh, my gosh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to get up today. I'm tired, right? There's actually some sort of excitement. There's this flow. It's easier when you're doing what you enjoy. So make sure you're writing these steps down, okay? This is really, really important. Action gives you confidence. Action gives you confidence. Without, without the action, you're not going to grow. Without the action, you're not going to grow. So you have to program your responsibility from now on until you get on the stage, until you start doing what you want to be doing, until you start becoming a better communicator and overcoming your fear of speaking, for example, or just becoming better. You have to program yourself, program your mind to be a speaker. How do you program your mind to be a speaker if you're not speaking, if you're not doing that, if you're not in that action of whether it is doing your own podcast, my podcast microphone. Now, if you follow me or you you see me on Facebook or Instagram or you watch my, my YouTube channel or you watch my podcast, or you'll see that I'm always recording. I'm always doing a podcast. So I've programmed my mind. It's a habit now. It's unconscious competence. You want to get to a place of unconscious competence where you just do it so well because you've programmed yourself like that because you've taken so much action over the years and been consistent. So the more you speak, the more you grow. You want to be an extraordinary speaker or build that confidence in your communication and ability to express yourself but you're not taking action, right? Invest in doing some sort of speaking program. Invest in the action of actually going through a process so that you can actually be a better communicator. Learn from someone that has what you want. Like I learned from, from Lisa Nichols. I spent, first I did her Speak and Inspire program, which was 2018. That was a 32-day program. And then I, was, I met her in her event in San Diego, it was called Speak and Write, which was around April 2019. And then I went to Chicago. And after coming back from Chicago uh, in July, I think it was yeah June, I spent four days with her and 20 other people where it was more of an intensive program where I spent four days with her and I had to stand up and speak in front of her. And then she critiqued me as well, which is crazy. <laughs> but I was, and, I, and guys, like literally I was freaking so scared you know, um, so it is possible and it's magical when you overcome that fear, when you actually do the work and you take action, because now I look back at it and I go, oh my goodness, look how much fear I had. Look how scared I was. And this is why it's so fulfilling, so liberating to be living your dreams and overcoming your fears because you, you realize you look back and you go, oh my gosh, look who I used to be, right? Speak in front of people, family or friends. This is all part of action. All of these steps I'm sharing with you is action, 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 action. Don't expect for you to just all of a sudden be where you want to be, but you're not taking any action. Create a small event to start off with. This is what I did. As soon as I started doing the small program, speaking's program that I was doing 2018, it was in September. And so what I did was I... It was my birthday, 22nd of September. I was still doing the program. So what did I do? I didn't, it wasn't even in the program to say, hey, uh, halfway through, you have to create a small event. 
No, I just thought about it. And I thought, hang on a second. I'm going to, I'm going to do a speech. It's my birthday. I'm going to get all my family and sit them down in the lounge room and I'm going to do a speech. And I, I wrote it all out and I stood there for like 45 minutes and I, and I did a speech to the whole family because I knew I was doing a speaking program. I was like, let me take some more action. How can I get better? So I just put all the family together and I did it. Remember, when you start taking action, this is your investment for your future success, right? There is a future version. Like I'm the future version of that version, 2018 version. And I'm looking back at him and I'm like, yes, bro, do that. That's amazing. Yes, that's going to help you. In 2024, you're going to be living your freaking best life, living your dreams. You're going to be successful. You're going to be so confident, right? You're going to be doing events all over the world. What you're doing right now is amazing. Yes, go for it. So you need to think about your future version of yourself in four years' time, six years' time. What are they thinking when they're looking at you now? Are they thinking, hey, man, like, let's go. Do some work. Take some action. Get out there, right? Because that is going to reflect who you become. And it happens because of all the action that you take now. Let me know in the chat. Am I making sense? I just want to make sure that we're all on the same path. Am I making sense? Let me know in the chat. And if you've just joined us recently, make sure you stick around to the end because I have a special, special gift, a gift for everybody who sticks around to the end um, inside the Dream Chasers. I can't wait to share it with you. Let us know if that makes sense in the chat. Yes, does. Absolutely. Making sense. Fantastic. Awesome. 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 All righty. Okay storytelling this is what's going to captivate i just told you a story did you hear me what did i tell you i just told you a story about an event that happened in 2018 when i was doing a speaking program and i got up in front of my family and i did a speech for 45 minutes i took you there okay so this is the hard thing when we try to learn this stuff and we try to because we haven't kind of got the confidence yet we're not used to it we do this a lot. Even when you're with your family, your friends, whatever, you're always telling a story. Okay? So this is a part, a huge part of your success as a speaker. Storytelling. Take people there. Make them see it in their mind. Right? This, right here. You want to take them there. Okay? Okay? So you want to think about, and write this down, think about five stories. Surely there's a lot that you've been through in your life. at least one two or three titles what story is it what's your story what are some stories that you can think of straight away that you could talk about if you wanted to think about five stories and then the next thing is choose five moments in your life that are important to you so I'm trying to make it easier for you to identify these stories, okay? What are five moments in your life that you can genuinely like sit there and go, you know what, that situation, that experience, this is what happened to me. What are five moments in your life that are important to you that you can really identify and go, oh, you know what, yeah, that's what I talk about. Even if it's a challenge or if it's even something exciting that you're like, oh my gosh, yes, wow. When that happened in my life, I was just like, oh my goodness, I have to tell you about that. And then this is going to be an easier way, okay? So in order for you to formulate your story, you got to break it down, okay? Because the truth is your story is probably going to be all over the place unless you give it some structure, so to make things easier, if you are preparing yourself for a speech or preparing yourself for a small event, let's just say that you did what I did and you're like, you know what, I'm going to get my friends and family to come over and I'm going to do a little event and I'm going to talk about something for at least 45 minutes. 
what am I going to talk about? Well, I want to, I want to create this story. Let me think about what's this story that I want to talk about. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's something that happened to me when I was 19 and I never told anyone. I really want to tell people about what happened when I traveled overseas and I met this group of people in the mountains. And then we found this cottage in the mountains and it was like this most amazing place. And it was like so nice and peaceful and calm. It was next to a river and there were all these animals. But I never told anyone about this because I thought they'd think I'm freaking weed or something that I went with a group of people to the to the mountains. So I know I'm just creating a story right then and there. Okay. But what I want you to do is in order to make this easier for you, I want you to just use dot points. So I want you to grab 20 points. So think about that story, if that was the story, when you went overseas, when you were 19, and you met this group of people, and you all traveled to the mountains to, to stay in this freaking cottage. And I looked over the mountains, I looked over, there was a lake, and there was all these animals, it was nature, it was beautiful, it was peaceful. So I want you to break the story down into 20 dot points. And what this is supposed to be for is, is to help you to navigate yourself through the journey of the story. Because surely there's an introduction, surely. And I'm, I, I'm sure many of us learned this. I remember learning this in drama or at school sometime. There's an introduction, there's a complication, and there's a resolution. So you have these dots to kind of help you, to guide you through your story. Now, if you do that for your five stories, you're going to have a lot of content to be able to feed off when you're doing your speech. So if you're getting up in front of people, you can use your piece of paper, which is funny because, guys, this is what happens. Okay? When I stood up in front of my family, I had about three pages, four pages full of what I'd written. Why? Because I was doubting myself. I was thinking, I'm not going to be able to remember. I'm not going to be able to remember everything. So I got to have a piece of paper as backup. There was a lack of confidence in me. There was a lack of self-trust. There was a lack of, oh my gosh, what if I forget? And you know what happened? As soon as I started talking, about 10 or 15 minutes later, I noticed that I wasn't even looking at the paper. For real. I didn't even need the paper anymore. I was, it was there because I was like, okay, what if I forget and I have to look down and I need to read like what the points are. So I learned then and there, I was like, wow, I, I can, I can actually talk. I, I can do it without even needing a piece of paper, but it was there. It gave me a little bit of comfort because I was like, at least I've got something to fall back on. And I tell you that the more confidence you gain because the more action you take, because the more you step up, you will get better and better and better before you won't even need a piece of paper anymore. So notice that what I keep doing, what I keep doing in this training that you're going through right now with me is I keep telling you stories. Now you tell me, Am I creating connection with you? Am I engaging? You tell me in the chat. Am I taking you somewhere with these stories? You let me know. And if you're just joining us, guys, I have a gift for you at the end of this training, so make sure you stick around. Okay, cool. Awesome. I see you guys saying yes. Now, the last one there is practice sharing the story from 1 to 20. So then obviously, once you got your dot points, stand up and do it. Get a, Even if there's no one around, get your freaking camera, get your tripod, set it up and record as if everyone's watching you. Do it in front of the mirror. Stand there, read your points and try to tell the story as you go down your points. This is just a part of you taking action and stepping into the person that's able to express themselves confidently and share your stories, okay? So this is very important. Now, you've already been watching me use my body. See what I'm doing? 
I'm using my hands to give you the, the connection. I'm not standing here like this. And so, and I, did, I didn't just say, hey, guys, um, so you've just been watching me use my body. The next part of being an extraordinary speaker, and I learned this from Lisa Nichols. She's the one that taught me everything. She taught me how to step into character. You are providing and giving a performance. If you want people to connect with you, right? This is a performance. You want people to actually connect with you. You don't want people to, to, to be watching you and going, ah, oh, when's this person going to end? Like, and they're thinking about what they're going to do on the weekend and all this kind of stuff. You want people to be connected to you. How do you do that? Do you think you do that because you stand still like this? No. Right? I've got my hands in my pocket. But all of a sudden, I'm free. I'm open. I'm like, you need to use your body. I'm showing you, right? So this is called show me versus tell me. I can tell you, hey, guys, use your body. No, no. Use your body. Let people know what it is that you're explaining. Everybody learns differently. Some people are visual learners. Some people connect more with you actually explaining the waves of life because it's challenging sometimes. It's really choppy. And it's not always going to be nice and flat. Some people are still on the runway and they're not taken off. But some people are taking action and they're taken off. It's your responsibility to step into that, to be able to create the engagement with people by moving your body. Okay? Really important. Very, very, very important part of becoming an extraordinary speaker. If you see me recording my podcast, I do the same as well. I'm still moving around while I'm doing my podcast. I'm not just standing there going, yeah, uh, you know, like you got to motivate yourself. Like, you know, sometimes really hard, you know what I mean? But like, yeah, like don't give up on your dreams, you know, just do what you can. I'm sitting there going, look, dude, I'm, I'm fucking like doing all this shit. That's creating connection, engagement, even on my podcast. So use your body to show versus tell. Learn to use your body to explain the story, not just speak it. So make sure you write all this down or screenshot it, whatever, whatever works for you. This will improve the connection between you and the audience. Because like I said, the last thing that you want is people sitting in the audience, falling asleep, sitting there daydreaming, losing concentration, and think about what they're going to do next weekend. You want to create that connection. People will feel your confidence when they see you move. For real. And I remember doing the, the speech with Lisa Nichols in person. And like, because I wasn't so confident, I struggled with that. You know? And when she came and critiqued me, she actually got on the floor. And she goes, this is what you should have done, Luke. You should have got on the floor. And you should have showed me how you were crying, how you were curled up like a baby. And I was like, wow. And I was like, yeah, okay, fair enough. Uh, but now I look back at it and I'm just like, yeah, because I wasn't confident. I was scared. You know, so now as you grow in your confidence, as you take an action more and more, you have more confidence to be able to do more, right? To present yourself. And then people understand from different levels, like speaking, visual, and sound. So if you notice... Sometimes I'm speaking very loud. Sometimes I'm, I'm speaking softly. Sometimes I pause. It's very important to allow your audience to actually digest what it is that you're exp explaining, what it is that you're talking about. 
sometimes if you just keep going on and on and on, and I went here, I went there, and you know what? It was pretty amazing. Like, I just couldn't believe it. It was really, really fantastic. Such a beautiful day it was. And we just went there. And when we went there, we couldn't get past them. And there was like 10 of them. And then there were all these horses that were walking around. And like, you should have seen what happened. It was a great thing. And then I couldn't like really stop anyway, because he was there. And then when he came around there, he was calling everyone. And they were just talking about all these trips and all these grasses everywhere, these trees and stuff. And, you know, like it was such a good day. And, and then she couldn't go. And if you don't stop and pause and let people breathe, to like soak in your story, then they'll miss out on what it is that you're sharing. Let me know in the chat, am I making sense? Let us know in the chat. Does it make sense what I'm sharing? Once I know I'm making sense, we will continue on. Kathy says yes. Kirsten says yes. Alice says fucking A. Elizabeth says yes. Okay, fantastic, guys. Fantastic. Great to have you with us. All righty. So cadence in your flow and voice. So as you can see, right, this is a presentation, right? So we have to become more aware of how we are using the space. And again, this only happens from practice, right? But we're going to learn to balance your flow, voice, and energy. Up and down, round and round, this comes from practice, time, and getting some skin in the game. If you're not willing to get some skin in the game and take action and practice and get up in front of people, then you're not going to grow and you're not going to be able to be comfortable in being able to move around, move back, move forward, pause, get really loud so that people can really hear you so you can hear me because I'm talking to you right now. And, you know, it was a beautiful, beautiful moment. You know, when I crossed the bridge, it was like, oh, my God, I felt euphoria. And then they freaking got up and they took them all over everywhere. And so as you speak, as you learn, as you take action, as you become more of an extraordinary speaker, because you're not here to be a shit speaker, you're not connected with Luke Mind Power, you're not joining this training because you're going to be a shit speaker, you're joining this because you're going to step into your greatness and you're going to be an extraordinary speaker. That's what we are here to evolve into, extraordinary speakers. That's how you change the world, and I know that you're here and you're called for that. So to give you an example, this picture, this is me standing up in Chicago when I was living with my cousin for three months and I went live on Instagram. Notice what I'm doing, guys. I'm taking you down a story again, right? I just said, this is me in Chicago. I was living with my cousin for three months in 2019. Again, what am I doing? I'm taking you into the story, okay? I've even given you a picture so you can see, right? So I'm on Instagram Live. I'm watching the live. Once again, guys, what am I doing? I'm showing you versus telling you. I'm showing you right here that I'm on Instagram Live and I've got a, a, a smartphone and I'm on Instagram Live with a friend of mine. He's from Massachusetts. And he said to me while we were on Instagram Live, I said, oh, Mark, I'm in, I'm in Chicago. And he's like, oh, dude. He's like, you're in Chicago. He's like, man, you got to go to downtown Chicago because Chicago is the best place for open mics. And you should be growing and building your confidence. You should get out there and go and speak. And I thought to myself, what? I said, man, motivational speaker? They don't do that stuff. They're, they're freaking rappers and musicians and comedians and like singers and shit. Like a motivational speaker going to get up in front of these people. What? And then I thought about it a little bit more. And I thought, what do you got to lose, man? What are you afraid of? 
And so I went on to Google that night and I said, open mic, best open mic Chicago. And the one that caught my attention, it said number one open mic in Chicago, Uncommon Ground. So this is the first night of me. I waited two hours. I was the last person on the list to get up and speak for five minutes. What am I doing here, guys? Let me know in the chat. I want to see if you're listening. What am I doing? I got up and I spoke for five minutes. Yes, Deb. Deb Molitaris, you are absolutely correct. Show me versus tell me. I just showed you five minutes with my hand. I didn't say I spoke for five minutes. I put my hand up and I showed you five minutes. Absolutely, Tina, using your body. That's right. Absolutely correct. That's what it is. That's what it's about. So I did this, guys, on and off for the next five weeks. About two or three times a week, I found an open mic. I went there. I sat there, and I waited for my turn to use the microphone. Sometimes there was only one or two people there. But I did it because I wanted to become better. And also, as I mentioned at the beginning of this training, I'll take you back. Program your mind to be a speaker. Program your mind. How do you program your mind? You have to program yourself by the action that you take and the consistency in that. One of the things that you see me doing all the time is speaking on the podcast. Okay? If you want to become something extraordinary, you've got to be consistent and repetitive. Really important. Okay. Something else that I want to take you through is Q&A, because as you step into your greatness, as you step into becoming an influencer, a coach, having a business, it doesn't matter if you're going to be someone who's sharing your story, you're going to be on stage with people, okay? This is something that is just going to happen. People are going to want to know. People are going to ask you questions. When you do an event, you're going to get up and you're going to have a Q&A. People are going to want to know, how did you do what you did? How did you start your podcast? How did you become a coach? How did you start your business? How did you become successful? How did you overcome your anxiety? How did you overcome your depression? How did you overcome your fears? Maybe it's in your family. Maybe it's uh, with your friends. People are going to want to know, how did you change your life? And you want to be able to handle a Q&A, handle questions like a pro, like a professional, okay? Now, again, obviously, it comes with practice. It comes with you becoming this version of yourself, okay? Now, if you don't practice, if you don't take action, then you're going to be less, less confident. But one thing that I would encourage you to do, and that's why working on your self-confidence, your, your communication skill set, building that self-worth within yourself and loving and accepting yourself is so important so that when people do ask you, for, it's funny, I'm wearing the same, uh, I'm, I'm wearing the same, uh, the jumper from uh, my event that I was with Suzanne Adams. That's awesome. Um, so the one thing that you want to do is you really want to trust yourself. That comes from a, being able to love and accept yourself for who you are so that when you're in that position of leadership and being an example, being a speaker, having people ask you questions, you don't flinch. You're able to just speak and answer them, okay? So trust yourself. You know yourself more than you think you do, and that's the truth. Sometimes you're questioning yourself. Sometimes you're doubting yourself. Sometimes you're like, oh, I'm not sure. But the truth is actually you know yourself more than you think you do. And that's why it's important to trust yourself. If you don't know something, it's okay to say no. It's okay to say so. It's okay to let people know that you don't have the answer to that. 
And I think that's probably one of the most genuine ways of communication because why should you know everything? If someone asks you a question about something that you got no idea about or that you've never experienced before, you don't need to sit there and lie about it. You just say, you know, thanks so much for the question, but you know what? I'll, I'll have to get back to you on that because I've never experienced that before. Well, let me do some research and I'll get back to you. You know, um, it's probably the best thing because I know it's easy to go, what if I don't know what to say? It's easy enough to just be yourself. And that is what I've learned as well in connection with an audience as well is when you are vulnerable and real, when you're authentic, that's what people love. People love authenticity. You're not trying to play some character. You're not trying to be someone you're not. You're just being you. And you're not supposed to be perfect. And that's why people love that you're not perfect, that you can just be yourself, right? So people are genuinely interested in your story. People want to know what you overcame, how you overcame it, why you chose this. The amount of DMs that I've got in Instagram, Facebook, on my social platforms are people saying, how did you start this? What happened to you? What inspired you to start this journey? That's why it's so important to have a podcast because it's one of the best tools that you can say, oh, hey, you don't have to repeat yourself. You just say, hey, listen to this podcast episode that I did and you'll get to know me a bit better. And be honest with people because people vibe with that, as I mentioned earlier, okay? So how to develop a powerful speaker's mindset. Developing a powerful speaker's mindset. Now, at the beginning, guys, obviously, you don't feel as powerful as you want to feel. You don't feel as confident as you want to feel. And it really is all about your confidence in terms of how you feel within yourself. Because if you don't feel that confidence in yourself, well, it's going to show on stage. You know, you're going to be walking up all scared and stuff like, hello, hi, how are you? Oh, I'm here to do this. And, you know, and you're not going to be open. Right. And so all these small experiences that I went through in the past where I was going to open mics, where I was creating small events with my family, where I was, you know, taking these these steps of action, doing my podcast, going live on Instagram with people, interviewing people. You know, the amount of if you look at my podcast, the Luke Mind Power podcast, you look at the first hundred episodes, they're all interviews. I was getting everyone and going, hey, do you want to do an interview? Do you want to do an interview? Hey, come and do an interview with me. Let's do a podcast interview. And I had so many people jump on board and help me to grow the podcast. So developing a powerful speaker's mindset, it comes with the journey, with you taking action through your experience and self-belief. This will come naturally. You don't have to force it, but you can also help yourself by stepping into that. Because now through my experience, I'm telling you, well, the version of you who you can be in five years time because you take action and you do this work and you keep speaking, communicating and becoming better every single year, that version of you up ahead is cheering for you. They're like, yeah, come on, you can do this. I know who you're going to become, right? And so that's the mindset that you want to adapt. Like now I can stand here and go, who is Luke Mindpower when he's 45? I'm 40 now. When is he 45? Who's he going to be? And I can think about that and go, damn, he's going to be like the best. He's going to be like ridiculous. So I want to think about that version of myself and go, man, you got to at London on the 2nd of November, before you come out on stage, I want you to imagine yourself, Luke. I want you to imagine yourself that it's 20, it's 2029 and you're getting in front of stage. You're getting on stage in front of 10,000 people. How are you going to show up? Are you going to show up like you are in 2024? Or are you going to take it to another level and you're going to come out there and it's going to be absolutely ridiculously amazing, right? So you want to take yourself to the future and step into that greatness, step into that version of yourself, even if your mind doesn't believe it because your mind doesn't know the difference anyway, okay? The more you do, the more you can do. The more you do, the more you can do. The more you take action, the more you believe in yourself, the more you get more powerful, the more you grow more confidence, and the more you realize that, wow, if I can do this, you do a small event of three, four, five people. After you do that, you're going to go, 
damn, I did it. Okay, cool. What's next? Because you've got to keep it going, man. This ain't starting and then you go, oh, I did that. Fantastic. All right, maybe next year I'll do another one. It's like, nah, let me get five people now. Let me get 10 people. Let me do it again. Let me grow a little bit more, right? That's what this is about. Absolutely. So on a scale of one to 10, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with you right now. Let me know in the chat. On a scale of one to 10, 10 is a lot of value. One is no value at all. Let me know in the chat. Is there... How much value have I given you today? Do you feel like you've learned something? Please tell me. If, if you feel like you haven't learned anything, I'll start again and we'll go through it again. Let me know. Let me know if, if I've given you any value. Have you learned something today? I hope, I hope, I've, teach, I hope you've I've taught you something um, because if I haven't, then it's okay because you know I'm so genuine that I will go back and we'll start again. And someone's going to write one because they want me to. They want to. You guys want to stay with me a little bit longer, yeah? <laughs> Someone write one. I don't want to go anywhere. Come on. Someone write one, please. Everybody's writing ten. Someone's going to write one. We want to stay with you. Come on. Ellen, Rena, Kirsten says a thousand, ten thousand. Christiana says ten. Uh, Sarah says amazing. That's awesome. Agnieszka says, so much learning. Okay, Kathy, one year. <laughs> one. Everybody's going to put one now. Okay, we're not going anywhere. Let's have some fun. That's awesome. Shit, stop it, Lisa. <laughs> Rita says one. Everyone's saying one now. Oh, geez. Okay. All righty. Fantastic. It's good to be here with you guys. I'm glad we can have a laugh. You know, and that's something that's important as well, guys. When you're communicating, when you're having a sense of humor on stage where you can connect with people and you can actually like make them laugh. Um, Bobby says, I just thought I'd say hi. That's awesome. Love you, Bobby. I believe in you. Keep going. Louise DeRose says, one if you want to. <laughs> Kathy says, we love you. I love you too, Kathy. All righty. Okay, guys. Um, Guess what? We're coming towards the end. And I did promise that I was going to give you a gift if you stayed till the end. So this is where I am going to give you a gift. Okay. So one of the things that I want to share with you is in 2022, I actually took it upon myself because I thought to myself, you know what? I really want to teach people what I know. And so I decided to create a speaking program, which is called Speak and Transform to be able to give you an opportunity to learn from me and all of the steps that I took to become this person of who I am. And so this is a 32-day program inside a community, much like the same thing as what I did in 2018. And so there's a lot of members actually just um, in the chat. If you are a member of Speak and Transform, let us know in the chat that you're actually here in the dream chasers let us know in the chat that you're here if you are in the speak and transform program right now uh, let us know that you're here in the chat right um, because i think we have a lot of members here that are in speak and transform samantha's in speak and transform alice is in speak and transform um, and also like i mean you, since you're here as well, you can write something and, and tell us, like, um, how has Speak and Transform changed your life? Um, has it inspired you? Has it taught you something? Um, let us know. So I wanted to share this with you guys because this is a really transformational program that basically teaches you step by step a lot of personal development as well. I've incorporated a lot of self-love and a lot of overcoming fear and self-doubt. Um, and, uh, and, and it helps you to build a lot of confidence in yourself and your ability to express yourself and be authentic. Okay. It's basically the first thing that I did when I first started my personal development journey. And so I wanted to share this with you because this is the step that you can take that can take you to the level of your life that you never knew existed because this was exactly what happened to me. I never knew that I had this greatness. I never knew that I was supposed to be a speaker, a motivational speaker. I never knew that I could even grow confidence in myself. And that's why I say that your communication skill set is so important on developing. So I'm just coming back to um, everybody. 
in the, I'm in the program, but I haven't started yet. That's completely fine. And the beautiful thing about Speak and Transform, guys, is that it's a lifetime membership. So if you join, you join for life. You're never going to get kicked out. And if you don't start now and you want to start in six months, guess what? You can do that. So that's the beautiful thing about it. So just so you can see, this is actually the membership area. And this is where you actually would have access to it if you actually take action and you jump in, speak and transform. Because you want to do it. You want to transform your life. You want to surround yourself with a like-minded community. There's amazing accountability ambassadors that are there to support you through the journey as well. And the other beautiful thing is that I get to connect with you live inside the community once a month to answer your questions, which is really fun because everybody can join and you get to ask me questions while I'm live and I get to answer them for you as well. It's a very, very simple step-by-step, -step, one step at a time process that you go through. And like I said, you have lifetime membership. Okay. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, oh, cringing. There's a lot of fear. You know, the possibility of you becoming an extraordinary speaker is one step away. And I truly remember that moment where I realized that I was afraid. But then I realized that if I was going to allow this fear to keep controlling my life, well, then I wasn't going to make any progress and I wasn't going to get to where I wanted to be. And that was the roadblock. And I was like, you know what? I'm sick and tired of that blocking me. I'm going to go around it. And so I took action. I went around it. And now look at me. I'm living my dreams all because I overcame the fear of public speaking all because I decided to start communicating better and learning how to formulate my story and learning that it's okay to share my story. It's okay to be myself. It's okay to love myself. It's okay to express myself. It's okay to put my hands in the air and go, yes, I am open for success. I am open for abundance. I'm open to live my dreams, not my fears. So this is your time. This is your moment where everything in your life changes because all you need to do is click the link below and say, you know what? It's time to level up. It's time to surround myself with a like-minded community. It's time for me to show up for myself and say yes and give myself permission to be the best that I can be because I believe in myself, because I want to invest in myself, because I want to show up for myself, because I deserve to be the leader, the example for everyone around me to know that it's possible, that it's possible to live your dreams, that it's possible to be an extraordinary speaker. And I'm here to have your back. And don't worry, because one step at a time, one day at a time, you will see how powerful you will become. And that's the truth, guys. I didn't know how powerful I was until I started doing this work. And this is where everything changes for you. I believe in you, and I'll see you inside the community. Let's go.